What is up you guys welcome back to another video it's phantom here and today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a free minecraft server slash mineshafter server so a lot of people who basically subscribe to my channel or you know are getting this video recommended to them probably watched the video where I showed you guys how to get mineshafter for free and if you haven't I'm gonna leave the link to that video in the description and in the top comment as well as the videos that I made on how to change your skin in Mineshafter, how to get mods in Mineshafter, and how to get texture packs slash resource packs in Mineshafter. So in order to make a free server for Mineshafter slash Minecraft, all you're gonna need is Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, or whatever it's called now, or Firefox. So you're gonna go over here to the URL, and you're gonna type in Eternos, which is A-T-E-R, NOS and then press enter and it should be the first link up at the top which is eternos.org and at the bottom right it's going to say play so you can click on that and since you guys are new to this you guys are going to click where it says sign up you're going to sign up and then you know choose a username that's unique to you click this blah 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 and set up a password you don't have to set up an email but I would recommend to set an email in case you do forget because you're probably most likely going to you know get on the server like maybe once or twice a week so i would recommend you know having an email connected to this account in case you do forget your password and that's another thing you know make sure make sure you do know your username and password to this to, the, to this account because if you do forget you're basically going to lose your server and uh there's really no way of recovering it so once you sign up uh, right here where it says servers where this is appearing it should say like add a new server create new server so click on that create a new server you can change the name and then you know once it says you once you press create you should go to this page so I have an ad blocker on this website because there are a lot of ads I mean that is how they make revenue it is a free service so I mean if you want to support them you know turn off your ad blocker or don't even use ad blocker to begin with but I feel like when it comes to a YouTube video, I should, you know, have an ad blocker because you never know what type of ads are going to show up. So as you can see right here, this is my server inheritor flames at eternos.me. So the thing is, you can't change the thing after dot eternos.me. So like that, this right here, this right here is literally like a given. Like you can't change that. You can only change the thing in front of it. But other than that, so I actually skipped a step. Um, I was already where I'm going to tell you to go, but I'm going to show you a different way to get there. So I guess you can click right here or you can go right here, which is where I usually go, which is configure your server and then click on it. And every time I go somewhere, this is going to pop up. So I have to, you know, press right here. So as you can see here, are the settings for the server. So right here, you can set the maximum amount of players. I usually I just put four because it's usually just me and my two cousins that play on this server. And then whitelist, make sure it's false, so it has an X. And then everything else you can have however you want. But right here where it says cracked, make sure that's a check mark because when it comes to Mineshafter accounts, they're cracked accounts. So if this is with an X, it's not gonna let Mineshafter accounts through. So make sure that there is a check mark to allow Mineshafter accounts in. And this this can also, you know, let regular Minecraft so like if your friends they actually paid for minecraft they can actually still join which is pretty cool so you know your friends can play with you be, even if you have you know mineshafter which is a cracked version of minecraft so everything else can be however you want you know however many players you want creative mode whatever hard mode pvp can be on okay so i would recommend to go to where it says server click on it and then so let this load again and then I'm gonna go back to options to make sure that the settings that I have put are still active. So it is still cracked and the whitelist is still on X. So I'm gonna go back to the server section. And the cool thing about Eternos is that it's, it is super easy to add mods. As you can see right here where it says software, I have Forge activated. And in order to add mods, all you have to do is go over here to the left hand side and click right here where it says mods. And then, you know, if you have an ad blocker, just you know just click right here and as you can see right here you know journey map iron chests there's a bunch of mods mods right here that you can add and all I have to do is just click on it and like all you have to do is literally um click where it says right here where it says download 
for the version that you're playing on. So just click download, it'll install, and then it'll literally activate it so you're going to be fine. And as you can see, as I already told you, I'm running Forge. So now that, you know, I already told you that the mods are installed, just press start. It's a, um, whatever. So uh, sometimes it might take a little while. It might take, you know, a couple seconds or minutes, depending on how, um, how much traction there is on the website. So I'm pretty sure that that notification was telling me that, you know, there's probably a bit of traction. So it is starting. So it should be up in like maybe 20 seconds or a minute. So while this is booting up, I'm going to go over here and launch my launcher, which is Mineshaft or launcher. So it can be ready. And as you can see right here on the bottom right, it says 1.16.5 Forge. So I already have the correct version ready and running. Oh, and the thing, if you're going to install mods on your server, make sure that the same mods are installed in your profile account which, you know, I, I'll link the video um, in the comments and in the description so you know how to, you know, install mods onto, you, onto your computer and Minecraft or my, slash Mineshafter. So while wow, this boots up, um, I mean, you know, Eternals is a pretty good website. Honestly, I would recommend using it because why would you pay, you know, eight, ten dollars to have a server up where you're probably only going to get on like maybe once or twice a week. Uh, and you know, that's like honestly a waste of money in my opinion. So I usually use Eternals, even though they only give you, you know, 2,500 megabytes of RAM. That's still pretty good for four players. I've personally not tested it with more than three players. So, so you can hear the little chime. It, it'll tell you that it's online and make sure to log in right here before like the five or six minutes is up because there's not, if they know if there's people on it and if there's nobody on your server then it'll just turn it off completely because you know it's wasting their memory and they'd rather have that memory go to a different server that's actually going to use that memory that ram so um there's a black screen for you guys but that's just the um, minecraft booting up so as you can see right here the the mods have booted up and I'm going to go right here to single player to show you that I only have a creative map and a survival map. Um, and th these aren't correct. These aren't Forge versions. You can see their versions 1.16.5. So as you, if, if you go <clears throat> if you go into multiplayer, as you can see, I have um, the Pika server. If you want to play it, this is a cracked server, top.pika.host. And I have this other one, which is superepicgaming.club. I don't really play on this one. I usually play on Pika. But as you can see right here, Inheritor flames.eternals.me this is my server so i'm gonna click play and it should launch me into the server with ease as you can see i am right here as you can see the mods are installed on the top right you can see the journey map and where i am right now this is the twilight forest which is a pretty cool mod honestly i would recommend it it is honestly pretty insane uh me and my cousins we've actually beat i think three out of the five um bosses so we, we died quite a bit fighting this other boss over here so um i would honestly recommend eternals like i already said you know it's a free service you get to get a free server it's a pretty good server so i mean you know if you if you want to play with your friends for free without having to pay a monthly fee honestly use eternals um pretty great service you know for uh, like i already said i haven't tested it for like 10 players but i doubt you know People are going to, you know, how do I say it, have probably more than eight people in a server. I highly doubt it. Probably the max is probably like five or six, but yeah. So it's been Phantom. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, make sure to drop a like and drop a comment. If it was helpful, tell me what type of mods you're going to be installing into your server. And yeah, guys, if you're new, make sure to subscribe and take care. Peace out.